Flight of the Navigator. World speed record attempt. Circumnavigating the Earth. So this is the engine mount, which is used obviously to mount the engine, but uh, it doubles up uh, as an undercarriage mount. Um, because it is welded, they don't always come out perfect in terms of size. So the whole thing has to be match drilled to the fuselage to ensure that the weight of the engine, the power of the engine is transmitted equally throughout the structure of the fuselage. I'm accepting the fact it's sitting slightly low because of the uh, slightly smaller holes and then just making sure it's the same clearance all the way around with it centered as it is. If it doesn't fit, get a big hammer. So the first one's drilled, uh, it's been cleaned out, the bolt fits very nicely in it. I've hung the engine mount on there, I've lined it with the other two. This second hole is perfect, so I'm just going to drill that in position without the engine mount on, then clamp the whole thing in and then do the bottom. That's better. What happens is when the drill goes through, it carries some material with it, so you get a burr on the far side. Uh, and as time goes by with the vibration from the engine, you can end up with a crack starting from there. So to, uh, to stop that, if you make it perfectly smooth all the way around, there's nowhere for the crack to start. So uh, it's worth spending the extra 10 minutes just finishing it off uh, each time you finish with the drill. <laughs> this it was in the kitchen not in the workshop be careful in the kitchen it's a dangerous place okay so now I'm going to tighten up the three bolts that are in which will make it sit squarely and then I'll match drill the bottom right hand uh, fixing point put another bolt in there and then drill the last two and that's it done then on there so let's just see how this last one lined up uh, yep yeah, not bad not bad yeah, it's just the accuracy of the welding that side now that it's been talked up is flush whereas this side probably a two mil gap that we just need to shim making at some stage yeah, really pleased with this. This is uh, an engine mount that will hold an engine that weighs just under 300 pounds, produces 220 horsepower. It also provides the attachment points for the undercarriage legs. Uh, so the aircraft will be up on its undercarriage within the next month or so. I've worked slightly out of sequence over Christmas in order to get the avionics ready. But where we are today, I think um, we're on schedule for the first flight to take place at some stage during May this year. So unbelievably, that is the end of five years hard work uh, and 2,000 hours in this workshop, of which 700 alone were done last year. So I couldn't have worked any harder on this aircraft, um, but it's getting really close to flying and I'm getting really excited about it now. To keep up to date with the Flight of the Navigator project, visit our website or check out the Facebook page.